Did you know you can convert a picture like this into the minifigures like this? This is a Tiny Maker Mini Resin 3D Printer. And this is perfect in size because I can go ahead and make little D&D characters like this, but what use some other tools, which I'm going to show you, you can turn into stuff like this. I'm using standard resin. Uh, alcohol based but you can also get other ones so that way uh, when you're using your wash station after you after you uh, do, do your print pull it out put it in here and does, does a wash this is t uh, currently alcohol but there are other other ones that does, does water and then you go ahead and take uh, knock all the supports off and then go ahead and drop it into your um, little UV uh, base uh, right here to finish the curing websites like 3daistudio.com allows you to go ahead and take a standard picture of somebody and turn it into a 3d model then just download it as an STL file, and then go ahead and bring that into your slicer. Some models may need a little bit of work, so you can go ahead and bring it into something like Tinkercad, and then go ahead and create a disc on the bottom for your model to stand on. If you need to make some minor adjustments to the model, you can go ahead and use a free program called Mesh Mixer from Autodesk. To make some corrections, you go ahead and use the Sculpt tool, go ahead and turn volume on, or to use the Inflate tool and then hold control and then I, what I could do is just take just a little bit off then use the shrink smooth option to go ahead and smooth it out export back out as an STL open the file in your slicer rotate and scale as needed now I have a 3d model ready for printing don't forget to add your supports run your slicer and then send the file over to your printer it's always fun watching the models rise out of the goo playing with a mini resin 3d printer is really fun but 